Professor Dawkins, it's very good to have you join us to discuss whether it matters that Christianity is playing a diminishing role in national life. Uh, welcome to LBC. Thank you. And what would be your Easter message? I, I mean, I've, I've said a few things. Uh, what would be what would you tell the nation? Well, I must say, I'm slightly horrified to hear that Ramadan is being promoted instead. I do think that we we are culturally a Christian country. I'm, I call myself a cultural Christian. I'm, I'm not a believer. But there's a distinction between being a believing Christian and being a cultural Christian. And so, you know, I, I love hymns and Christmas carols. And um, <laughs> I, I sort of feel at home in the Christian ethos. I feel that we are a Christian country in that sense. Uh, it's true that statistically the number of people who actually believe in Christianity is going... And by the way, you don't know what you have until, you, until it's gone, which is kind of interesting. ...down. Uh, and I, I'm happy with that. But I would or until it get, tries to be taken away from you, like freaking Islam trying to take away, you know, a lot of people's cultures, right? Trying to dominate it. I'd not be happy if, um, for example, we lost all our cathedrals and our beautiful parish churches. Um, so I, I count myself a cultural Christian. I think it wouldn't matter if we, certainly if we substituted any alternative religion, that would be truly cr dreadful. Well, which brings um, me to, to my supplementary point, which is that, as we know, church attendance is plummeting, but the building, the erection of mosques across Europe, I think 6,000 are under construction and there are many more, I mean, are being planned. So do you think, do you regard that as a problem? Do you think that matters? Yes. Also, from what I'm seeing from the outside in the UK, like the, the, the church in the UK has been completely subverted by Wokies. So their church is a name, but it seems like they are not very biblical in how they preach. Uh, I think we definitely have this issue in America, but I don't see it as much. I mean, this is complete vibes. I don't know the freaking, you know, I don't have the stats on it. Um, but it seems like the church attendance is declining in general. But from what I'm seeing in the UK, a lot of the uh, LGBT condoning uh, churches, which is objectively contrarian to Christianity, the Bible, um, is being done in the UK, but I could be wrong. Yes, I do really. I mean, I, 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 I don't. I, I just choose my words carefully. I mean, I, if I had to choose between Christianity and Islam, I choose Christianity every single time. I mean, it seems to me to be a, a fundamentally decent religion um, in a way that I think Islam is not. I think you're going to have to explain. That's based. Why you say that, Professor Dawkins? Why is Islam profoundly, well, the way, the fundamentally way, the, not decent like Christianity? Yes. I'm People need to like read the Quran, man. What the heck? Read the freaking Quran. It's not a secret book. You can get it online. You can get it anywhere. But people want to still act stupid. People want to read all the books except the one that they like. Hey, how about you throw in one short one just to understand it? A little bit of the people around you. I mean, the the, the, the way women are treated. I mean, Christianity is not great about that. Really. It's had its problems with female vicars and female bishops and things. But there's an active hostility to women, which is promoted, I think, by the holy books of Islam. I'm not talking about individual Muslims, who, of course, are quite quite different. But the, but the doctrines of Islam, the Hadith and the, and the Quran, is fundamentally um, hostile to women, hostile to gays. Um, and uh, I find that I like to live in a culturally Christian country, although I do not believe a single word of the Christian faith. Just for balance, should we, should we say something about fundament fundamentalist Christians who, you know, we can see abortion rights. That's funny. You can have, you can't, you, people want to have their cake and eat it too. It's crazy. It's reproductive rights being rolled back um, in, in, you know, Republican states in America. So Christianity is still not without its problems when it comes uh, to women and their rights. Um, okay. So not allowing uh, abortion is nowhere near hitting women. Can we, can we stop that? Because that's, that's hilarious. You didn't ask me about, about Christianity in, in America. That's a different matter entirely. Okay. All um, right. Well, I mean, I'm sure we've got some fundamentalist Christians here too, but uh, not, not as public. Yeah. Being a fundamentalist Christian, like people acting like this is like the new era of terrorism is like hilarious. I think fundamental wokeism is, is far more of a danger. Um, but you know, this is a woke freaking uh, news organization. Well, insofar as fundamentalist Christians oppose evolution and think that the world was, was created 6,000 years ago, I mean, that, that is pernicious nonsense, of course. Um, right. Well, so yeah, I think people talk about, you know, we came from monkey. I, I, monkeys, I think, I think that that is a faith argument as well, because obviously you don't have any, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have any, we don't have any photos, we don't have any evidence. Um, people still can't find the fossils and trace it to humans today. Um, I think this is like another religion, in my opinion. Whether it happened or not is is irrelevant. I mean, it could have happened. We could have came from monkeys, whatever, um, from a material perspective. Um, but I, I don't believe that. That's not in my faith. But 
people are acting like people want to have this 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 standard of evidence that they don't apply to their scientific claims of well science says so okay well that's a faith argument because you have to take an opinion of somebody else which is the evidence that people have for the resurrection for example i think i see where you come from i like the phrase you're a cultural christian i think i'm a bit more than a cultural christian although you know it does my 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 belief uh, waxes and wanes um would it be a good thing or a bad thing if we became a less christian country and just on the you know the, the foundation of this nation with the king uh, being... uh you can't support abortion and be a christian I, I i don't see those as being compatible this is just my opinion being the head of church and state um do you think it provides a solid foundation that we, and we would lose something if let's say there was a Muslim majority. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, I think the king, when he was Prince of Wales, was actually rather sympathetic towards Islam. And one of the problems I felt, um, no, I think it would be a, a terrible thing. Uh, and insofar as Christianity can be seen as a bulwark against Islam, I think it's, it's a very good thing. In Africa, for example, um, where you have missionaries of both faiths operating, um, I'm, I'm, I'm on team Christian side as far as that's concerned. Wow, that's based. So he's, that's interesting. Okay, let us move on to the conversation he had with Jordan B. Peterson, where he discussed this issue that he said and kind of, you know, they're kind of, I haven't seen this full thing because he was kind of pressing him. Jordan Peterson was kind of pressing him on this. Maybe that's true and perhaps it's not. So the first question is, like, do you think that there are any market differences between cultural traditions that would enable you to rank order them in terms of their ethical validity? Yes, so, I do. Okay, so for example, we could contrast mainstream UK Christianity with Islamic fundamentalists. Yes. Okay, so there's a hierarchy. There is a hierarchy. A hierarchy that points to what? Uh, well, in the case of Islam, uh, I dislike any religion which punishes apostasy with death, that throws gay people off high buildings, that practices clitoridectomy. Um, that, that seems to me to place Islam on a lower level than Christianity, but that's not to say anything very positive about Christianity. Well, it might, it might be to say something positive about Christianity. Like, I think that question is open because you might ask yourself, what did Christianity get right that led it away from those particular presumptions and towards something that you regard as more ethically appropriate? Like, this isn't a trivial question. It's one, of the, one of the issues with atheists is they think that decency is a default to humanity, which is hilarious. A very modest claim. Uh, and there's not very much, I mean, to, to be better than a religion that throws gay people off high buildings is not really a very uh, virtuous achievement. So I, I don't know. I don't know if that's true, because if you look at the barbarism that characterizes the human past, you might think that any progression whatsoever towards something approximating mercy and tolerance is nothing short of a bloody miracle. Well, like people are pretty, pretty ruthless. And so are our chimpanzee cousins. Yes, they are. Right. So yes. so we move forward into the light with great difficulty. Yes, and yes. the fact that we can take that for granted now and that it seems self-evident and deserving of faint praise it's not so clear to me that that's that that's a reasonable proposition okay let's let's grant the, the faint praise but that has nothing to do with the truth value and what i care about is the truth value i see no no truth value in the claims of christianity the virgin birth the resurrection the miracles do you believe in any of those do you believe jesus was born a virgin as i said before there are elements of the text that i don't feel qualified to comment on my experience has been that the more like i know from a metaphorical perspective and from a mythic perspective what the story of the virgin birth means and I accept that. I know, for example, that any culture that doesn't hold the image of the woman and infant sacred dies. Do and I don't know how that needs to be expressed in a form. True, though? Do you mean that you don't know? Well, let, let, me, let me ask you about that, because truth, this is something I talked with Sam Harris about, too. Truth, as we know, is a tricky business. Do you think there are differences in the truth claims between different writers of fiction? Like, is Dostoevsky uh, more profound than... Well, I wouldn't call fiction truth claims anyway. I mean, well, he's a... Then on what grounds do we rank order the, the fiction in terms of quality? Like, Dostoevsky is a profound... Purveyor of fiction on the philosophical front, unbelievably deep and profound. Yes, There's something true about what he's writing about. It, it's, it's nothing to do with the truth The truth that science is concerned with. The truth of science is the truth that gets us to the moon. Yeah, I think uh, sci science and religion can come together, but trying to apply them to each other is a bit weird, which is what I don't understand with Richard Dawkins. I think he tries to do that, and it ends up being really weird because you end up missing the point of the conversation 